previously on Until the Day. Recently, I received a visitor. Mary, what is this? He told me I'm to be the mother of the Messiah. Oh, Mary! Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you carry. Joseph, are you worried about tomorrow? I am worried about you. Days on the road, riding on old Methuselah. It's not going to be easy or comfortable for you. To be honest, I'm worried about the baby coming while I'm away from Ima. Episode 5. It's crowded. It's noisy. It stinks. Joseph, could we stop for a break? I need... if I could just sit on the ground for a minute? Mary, we want to make it to those trees before dark. They'll give us some protection from the wind. You know how bitter it was last night. Yes, but I think we'll cover more ground if we can just rest a minute. The other women and children are struggling too. Seth's been crying in Daya's arms since we passed the mounts near Ephraim, and Adela keeps plopping down on the ground. Okay. Uh... A short rest. Here, hand me Tabitha. Mm. Joseph, are we stopping here? Briefly, Simon, the women and children need a break. Here, can you take your daughter so I can help Mary down? Ah, yes. Tabitha, my little princess, how is it that you get to ride while all your family walks? (laughs) And yet you need a break. Abba, I'm hungry. I am too, Matuka, so let's have some bread. Daya, I see Seth is finally asleep. Yes, thank you, Adonai. (laughs) Uh, Now I've got to go deal with my other child. Here, Mary, sit with me. Oh, thanks, Rhoda. But I think I've been sitting too much. My back aches from riding on Methuselah. I might do better if I walk the rest of the way. Are you having pain anywhere else? No. If you do, promise, you'll tell me. I will. Good. You know what? I have some herbs that might help. I'll go get them. Oh, thank you. Rhoda, do you think Mary's okay? She looks pale. I don't know, Daya. She said her back aches. That could mean she's about to deliver, or it could just mean nothing. Do you think someone should talk to Joseph? What can he do? If she delivers on the road, at least she has us. That's true. Look at my daughter. Simon, don't let her eat too much bread. It needs to last for two more days. Tabitha, you heard your mother. Okay. And here, could you take the baby for a minute? Uh, I need a break. Okay. And don't wake him. It took forever to get him to sleep. Tabitha, I said that's enough bread. I'll go eat some of Mary's bread. She doesn't care. No, you won't. Simon, your daughter. Tabitha, come back here. Joseph, catch that child. Simon, the baby. Ah, sorry. Tabitha, what are you up to? I want some of Mary's bread. No, no, you don't. Here, go back to your Abba. Joseph, she can have some. No, Mary, you need to eat. And you're shivering. Are are you cold? A little. Ah, no wonder the sun is almost to the horizon. Here, uh, hopefully this will be the last night we have to sleep outdoors. If we reach Jericho tomorrow, we'll spend the night with Rhoda and Jared's relatives. Jerusalem should be just a day's journey from there. And then on to your cousin's home in Bethlehem. Yes. I'm excited to see Jerusalem. I saw it once when I was a child, but I really don't remember it. Ah, Jerusalem. The city of peace. Are we there yet? Tabitha, we're just outside Jerusalem. I thought it was supposed to be the city of peace. I can hear the crowds from here. Jericho was the same way. I never realized that everyone going to the place of their birth for the census would overcrowd the towns and cities. I'm tired of riding on Methuselah. You should be grateful that Mary was willing to share him with you. I like Rhoda's donkey better. He's not so lumpy. Here, come down and walk for a minute. I want to talk to Mary without prying ears. Go catch up with Abba. I'm tired. Then see if he'll carry you. Mary, how are you feeling? Still have the tightening? 
Yes, it's uncomfortable, but it doesn't really hurt. My back is getting worse, though. Maybe you and Joseph should stay with our family here. Excuse me. Oh, of, of course. course. Mary, I think we should say goodbye to our friends now. I know you wanted to see Jerusalem, but the city looks to be in chaos, and the sky is growing dark early. I'm anxious to get to my cousins. Yes, Joseph, I am too. Oh, Daya, I'll miss you. Take care of yourself, Mary. Adonai, be with you as you deliver that child. I can't wait to meet your little one back in Nazareth. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Thank you so much for everything. Stay safe. Joseph, there are so many people. I think this is even worse than Jerusalem. Don't be afraid. I've got you. Just hang on tightly to Methuselah. It's not long to my cousin's house from here. Good. I don't know how much longer I... Ugh. Is the pain worse? Yes, please, hurry. Ugh. I just want to get off this donkey. Okay, okay but not, not until we're away from these people. Look out! Get out of my way. Watch out, my wife! Sorry. Here, this is it. Let me help you down. Joseph, there are people everywhere out here in this rain. What if your cousin can't? They'll have to find a place for us. Here, just hold Methuselah's rope. What do you want? I'm looking for Moesh. Uh, he owns this house. I don't know where he is. Wait, don't close the door. Could you find him? My wife and I need a place There's to... There's no room here. She's having a baby. She can't have a baby here. Look at this place. It's wall-to-wall -wall people. Look around you out there. You see an open spot? Try the end down the road. But we're family. You've got a lot of family here ahead of you. Being family doesn't make room magically appear. Like I said, try the end. Oh, Joseph, what are we going to do? I can't... It looks like the two of you need some help. I'm Levi, and this is my wife, Naomi. We know where the inn is. We can take you there. Thank you, but uh, won't you lose your place here? Like it's worth keeping? Not even protection from the rain. Come on, it's not far. My, it looks like you're about ready to deliver. Yes, uh, I'm Mary. Is this your first? Uh-huh. Don't be afraid. I'm here to help. This stable is not where I imagined my child would be born. Well, it's dry. You have your own little area for privacy. It's a place for pack animals. Well, there's plenty of straw to lie on. It's crowded, it's noisy, and it stinks. This is not a fit place for the Messiah. What did you say? The Messiah? <laughs> oh, every young couple thinks they're going to be the parents of the Messiah. You're not. <laughs> you know, I used to think the Messiah would come in my lifetime. Now I don't know if I believe he's coming at all. You know something, Levi? You're right. Ad and I forgive me. Uh, this is the perfect place for my son to be born. And, and you, Levi, and your wife, you were meant to be here with us. Here, sit down. I, I have a story to tell you. <laughs> Not in here, you don't. <laughs> Mary, what do you need? What can I do? You can leave, both of you. Leave to where? Outside. But it's still raining outside. What? It's it's a slight mist. How about if we... Out. But I, I, I was thinking... Uh, oh, oh, okay, uh, we're going. Sure is cold out tonight, Aaron. Ezra, you say that every night. It's cold every night. Then why do you need to say it? Blame a guy for trying to make interesting conversation. But it's not interesting if you say the same thing every night. But it's cold every night. Uh, why do I bother? At least the rain stopped. Is that all you can talk about, the weather? Of course not. I can talk about all kinds of things. Take sheep. You take sheep. I'm going to sleep. 
Fine, I'll take the first watch. Good night, Ezra. Good night. Uh, uh, Aaron? I said I'm going to sleep. But Aaron... Ezra, I said... (gasps) Oh, my. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Ezra, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing. Look, there are other shepherds here. The angels must have told them too. Is this where the child is, the the Christ child? You're looking for the Christ child here? The angels told us. The angels? There, look, do you hear them? The angels. Have you seen him? Yes, he is here. Come, come and see. You've been listening to Until the Day, The Birth of the Messiah. Today's episode, It's Crowded, It's Noisy, It Stinks, was written and directed by Jenny Lamore. Stephanie Jenkins is assistant director. Production, sound design, and art for Until the Day is by Tim Jenkins. The Reverend Andrew Van Kirk is executive producer. The cast of today's episode, by order of appearance, is Stephanie Jenkins as Mary, Tim Jenkins as Joseph, Ben Wilson as Simon, Lily Kenny as Tabitha, Sarah Wilson as Daya, Sarah Carlson as Rhoda, Larry Magnuson as Stranger One, the Reverend Paulette Magnuson as Stranger Two, Sean Martin as Ira, Forrest Fairley as Levi, Sharon Spencer as Naomi, David Lamore as Ezra, the Reverend Andrew Van Kirk as Aaron, Sean Martin as the Angel. Until the Day is a production of St. Andrew's Episcopal Church, McKinney, Texas. For more information about Until the Day, please visit our website at untiltheday.show. Today's episode featured music by Trevor Kowalski. If you enjoyed today's show, please share the episode with others. We hope you enjoyed listening to Until the Day. And from all of us at St. Andrew's Episcopal Church, we hope you have a Merry Christmas.